My name is Mr. Ishengoma. Today we are going to be looking at angles inside parallel lines. And uh, in front of us, we have got a few exam questions that we are going to pass through. Now to start with, we look at number one, the lines AB and CD are parallel. So as you can see there, the lines AB and the lines, the lines AB here and the lines CD are parallel. Good. Question A, state the value of X, give a reason for your answer. So when you look at uh, angle X here, right? This angle X is corresponding to 20. Hence, also this will be 20. So angle X will be uh, valued 20 degrees. And if you give the reason being corresponding, corresponding angles are equal. So, because this is 20, even the other one will be 20. But B, write down the value of Y. Write down the value of Y. So, if I check properly, the value of Y here is also 20 for a number of reasons. Previously, uh, it, it was alternate. Alternate, if you look properly. Uh, this 20 and this one, they are alternating. But also, in the other part up there, they're vertically opposite. They are vertically opposite. So even these two are equal because of vertically opposite. We go to question number two. Uh, write down the value of A and B. So again, when you look at A, basically, the value of angle A will be 50. 50 because if you look at this one and this angle, you realize this angle, both of them, they are corresponding. So when they are corresponding angles, then they are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. So if this is 50, even A will be 50. So when you look properly at B, this angle B will be 110 degrees. So because this line is a parallel line and this line is a parallel line. So uh, B and 110, they are alternate. And the rule is alternate angles are always equal. Alternate angles are equal. So if this is uh, 110, even B will be 110 degrees. We go to question number three. Write down the value of A and B. Again, A, because of the two parallel lines, this one and this one, A will be 50 degrees. A will be 50 degrees. Because this 50 and this, and this A, they are corresponding. Corresponding. And we know corresponding angles will be will be equal. Now, B, B doesn't have a close relationship, but however, if I bring 110 inside here using vertically opposite angle, using vertically opposite angle, then 110 will be core interior with B. And we know core interior angles, they add up to 180. So this one and this B will be core interior. And core interior add to 180. So when I subtract, I get my B as, I get my B as 70 degrees. My B will be 70 degrees. So I got question number four. Question number four says, in the diagram, AB is parallel to CD. So they are telling us 
this line is parallel to this line. So basically, if the two are parallel, X will be 112. Why? Because this angle and this angle there, these two angles, they are corresponding. They are corresponding. And corresponding angles are equal. So X will be 102. Reason is they are corresponding. Corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. But B, find the value of angle Y. Find the value of angle Y. So since this line and this line, they are parallel, this Y here and this 130, they are basically core interior. So we know if angles are core interior, that means when you add them, you will get 180 degrees. So Y will be equal to 180 minus 130. And finally, the value of angle Y will be 50 degrees. So we shall keep on our space of answer 50 degrees. Then we go to question number five. We go to question number five. The diagram shows three angles in a straight line. So rule number one, if angles are in a straight line, it means they add up to 180 degrees. So this means 40 plus A plus 60 will be always equal to 180 degrees. And this means 100 plus A is equal to 180. So A will be 180, take away uh, 100. And our A will always be 80 degrees. We go to part B. Part B says, work out the values of B and C. Work out the values of B and C. But since we have got these arrows, they signify to us that this line and this line, they are parallel. So if these two lines are parallel, B will be 60 degrees. Reason being, B is alternate, alter, alternate to 60, to 60 degrees. So, and alternate angles are equal. Alternate angles, they are equal. So means our B will be, will be 60 degrees. C, if you check properly, C can shift to this position there. C can come here. Why? Because C is corresponding to this position. So meaning corresponding angles are equal. So now it will be straight line C plus 70 will give 180 degrees. So meaning C will be equal to 180 minus, minus 70, and we get 110. So C will be 110 degrees. So this is how we solve a few questions that are related to examinations, and they are about uh, angles inside parallel lines. Thank you for watching.